Hello, I'm Kevin Hello. 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 and Hello. TJ. Yeah. Mrs. Square Five, and we do Don't shout. Hello. 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 Talking about the economic crisis and how it's involved, how it's so involved in this topic, and then suddenly the topic quickly changed. Can we can we can we discuss Stay about on one the, topic how the economic issue right now? If the government won't use their money to invest into weapons industry, we could easily buy lots and lots AG. of spaceships. So, why do you need weapons of that the government spent a lot of money for only weapons? You have a proof. I, I want proof. I don't know how much money do they spend. <laughs> You know, killing of somebody who rather who has probably got an incurable disease. Um, nowadays, there are many different t um, discoveries that have proved that disease that couldn't be cured in the past can now be cured. Um, so we don't know if they wait and live through it with on the medication of the painkillers, and you know, people you know tend to them and care for them, then. They may be cured in the future. We don't know for certain, but we know for certain that they will die if you use euthanasia. Euthanasia in Wikipedia called good death. It says good death in Wikipedia. In Greek, yeah, in Greek language, in uh, Wikipedia.com, and it shows that it's natural. It's a natural way of dying because, well, you're suffering, so you can, it's to let ease the pain. And euthanasia has a lot of meanings. There's voluntary euthanasia. Involuntary euthanasia, active euthanasia, passive euthanasia, physical assisted suicide, and assisted suicide. I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> what do they all mean? Well, what's the definition of that? I need time for that. No, wait, I, I have it right now. You have 10 seconds. Um, no, I need time to explain that. Ten seconds. I have actual time to read um, it right here. Okay, um, voluntary euthanasia is when a person makes a voluntary and enduring request to be okay, held to die. Okay, it's one minute and... <coughs> okay, so what you're saying is that the looks affect whether you can have a partner or not. Now you're saying that that makes it important. You never said anything about how personality is important in that sentence. We're not saying that good looking could only prove to have positive effects. We're just saying that it's important. It can cause you negative effects by not, you know, getting in a relationship or something, or positive effects by getting into it. That's not what I said. What I said was that uh, less looking, uh, less uh, person that's not so good looking will get, will be more faithful to their partner. Now, a more good looking person will be less faithful to their partner. That the chance of them cheating. And that's what I said. So you're saying looks. Control your personality. No, I'm saying looks can make a ch uh, make a chance of you cheating on your partner. They make him, they, can, they that, can make the chance. Of that defines that your personality is unfaithful. Now, so you're saying that looks actually really do control your personality. A look, your looks can change the con uh, the percentage, the quality of how faithful you are to your partner. That's so, great. so you're saying your looks control how you feel or how how you know how you reliable act. to your partner you are. <laughs> you're saying that because you're saying that pe people's looks makes them feel things and ma makes them like change their character. So you're saying that um, looks have more greater importance than personality. A greater impact. Now, how do you know your client won't judge them by their looks? Well, because I'm the boss. They should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not the boss of your clients. You're the boss of your yeah. employees. Yeah. Your employees may not be allowed to judge them, but your clients might. And if you're selling a product, 
Your clients may be, oh, they're selling, they're asking some person they just picked up off the street to sell me this product. Why should I buy it? What if it's a beauty product? Well, it's different. What if it's, an if it's a beauty product, then that's more beautiful. But if it's exactly, and in that case, did personality matter? I don't no. think so. Yes, it uh -huh. does. How? You just said it mattered on who How would she be from mail.co.uk, published on 29th of November by Steve Nolan. I quote from the site, Bosses are more likely to hire someone they find attractive instead of the ideal candidate. A sociologist called Dr. Lauren Rivera, an assistant professor of management and organization, said, of course, employers are looking for someone who have the baseline of skills to effectively do the job. But beyond that, employers really want people who they will bond with, who they will find good around, who will be their friend and maybe even their romantic partner. As a result, employers don't necessarily hire the most skilled candidates. But my findings demonstrate that in many respects, employers hire in a matter more closely resembling the choice of friends or romantic partner than how one might expect, expect employers to select new workers. So basically, what you're saying is, that well, actually, what we're saying is that by this research, it actually proves that bosses actually, when you walk into an interview, what bosses think first is what bosses asking about a scar. And I know I gave it to you months ago. I know you're trying to forget, but between the drinks and subtle things, the holes in my apologies, you know, I'm trying hard to take it back. So if by the time the bar When you hear before Closes and you feel like falling down I'll carry you home tonight